evening prayer for today. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, that we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and the daughter of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Act of faith. My God, I believe in you and all that your church teaches, because you have said it, and your word is true. Act of hope. My God, I hope in you, for grace and for glory, because of your promises, your mercy, and your power. Act of charity. My God, because you are so good, I love you with all my heart, and for your sake, I love my neighbor as myself. Act of thanksgiving. Oh my God, I thank you for all the benefits which I have ever received from you, and especially this day. Give me light to see what sins I have committed, and grace to be truly sorry for them. Out of contrition, oh my God, because you are so good, I am very sorry that I have sinned against you, and by the help of your grace, I will not sin again. I confess to Almighty God, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. My mighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Our short reading will be from today's Gospel reading, According to Matthew chapter 14 from verses 13 to 21. Here Jesus, after hearing the death of John the Baptist, withdrew from the crowd and went to a lonely place. When the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When Jesus saw the crowd, he had compassion on them and healed their diseases. The disciples came to him and said, This is a lonely place, and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, Give them something to eat. And later, Jesus used five loaves of bread and two fish to feed 5,000 people, excluding women and children, and 12 baskets full we are gathered. My reflection will be on the statement of Jesus, give them something to eat. And the apostles we are complaining, we have to get money to buy bread, to feed this great multitude of people. Many a time, when we meet challenges and problems in life, we tend to feel that there is nothing we can do. This perception is very wrong, which can make one feel relaxed when he or she should work hard and make effort to overcome his or her challenges. One thing is to discover the problem, and next is bringing out a solution to the problem. Don't be a problem discoverer but be a problem solver. Our words must be followed with action. Now, I wish to give 10 simple suggestions to use whenever we have a problem to solve. One, believe that for every problem, there is a solution. Two, keep calm. Your brain cannot operate efficiently under stress. Go at your problem easily like. 
3. Don't try, don't try to force an answer. Keep your mind relaxed so that the solution will become clear when the right time comes. 4. Get all the facts together. Look at them without bias. Try to judge them as if they were no personal concerns of yours. 5. Write down these facts on a sheet of paper. When you do this, and get them into proper order, you will see them and then think about them more clearly. 6. Pray about your problems. Say and believe that God will bring light into your mind. 7. See God's guidance on the promise in Psalm 73. Though he shall guide me and give me counsel. 8. Trust in the faculty of insight and intuition. 9. Go to church, go to chapel, and let your subconscious mind work on the problem. Spiritual thinking has an amazing power to give you right answers. Lastly, if you follow these steps faithfully, then the answer that, that develops in your mind or comes to pass is the right answer to your problem. Believe that and God will help you to overcome these challenges. Let us pray. God, the Father of heaven and earth, we, your children, have come to you this evening to thank you for everything you have done for us. We ask for the forgiveness of sins and ask you to give us wisdom to know what we should do when we face challenges and difficulties in life. Give us the grace to remain faithful and strong faith, hoping that through our faith in you and our efforts, we may become victorious every day. This is a prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good night and have a nice sleep.